Om Shanti. This is the slogan from the Merli of the 30th April. With the awareness of the new world, invoke all virtues and move forward at a fast speed. So what is this slogan really talking about? I think it's talking about some very magical powers. The power of awareness, the power of invocation. So how do we grasp that so that these can be utilized and there can be progress at a fast speed. And also, what is that? A fast speed of progress. So starting by looking at awareness of the new world. If you look it up in the dictionary, awareness means knowledge or understanding that something exists or that something is happening. Knowledge or understanding that something exists or is happening. And in today's Merle, Baba was saying that this school is wonderful because there is knowledge and for those who are keen on knowledge, Baba's dance is very, very special. But then there are those who are sitting in this class who don't have any knowledge at all. They just have love and faith. And so they also claim a right. So awareness understanding, knowledge, somewhere in between all those words, we have belief. Typically, in the materialistic world that we have today, belief comes through logic. There's understanding, there's a kind of like experimenting of that understanding, and if it works, uh, we start believing in what we've understood. So there's believing through understanding and logic. But there's also believing just through faith. Just through faith. It's kind of like this expression, I will believe it when I see it. That's the kind of believing through logic. But then there's also those who say, when I believe it, I'll see it. Which is more the stuff of believing through faith. When I believe it, I'll see it. Because in the New Age philosophy, this is um, a dynamic for them. They really encourage everyone to believe in whatever it is they want to manifest in their life, like getting that new job, or um, getting that new big house. Uh, they encourage people to envision it, to put all their faith that this is something they deserve. Um, they see it in great detail, n not seeing it physically, but um, envisioning it. So it's as if the f their faith in the thing 
has to be increased to a certain degree. And according to the New Age philosophy, that's what invokes it. But then, according to Baba's Gyan, is that really what's happening? Does anything happen because I believe it'll happen? Is anything happening because I invoke it through my powerful thoughts or my faith? Actually, no. Not according to the traditional definitions of these things. Because we know that there's a drama. It's predestined. Everything is written out already in advance. So whatever is happening is not because I've invoked it. It's because it's the drama (laughs) and it has to happen. So within that framework, what are we talking about in this slogan? when we speak about invoking all virtues with awareness of the new world. Personally, I think what we're talking about is faith, the power of faith, but knowledge-based faith, which is very different from blind faith or bhakti-based faith, isn't it? So for faith to work as a power, truly, What we're really talking about is faith in a larger picture. For example, Brahma Baba, he had a vision and he had faith instantly that this is what he was going to become. And on the basis of that, he let go of everything. Faith in the larger picture creates change, transformation, which is what awareness campaigns are designed to do. Just like, for example, with all these different um, conferences and symposiums going on about the crises with climate and environment, it's to raise awareness because with a raised awareness, there's a, uh, or the, the idea is to achieve a, a change in behavior. So, see, Baba's raised awareness and the subsequent change in behavior. It's also faith in Baba because he's the master of that larger picture. And knowledge should show me that I'm not in charge of the universe. If anyone is, drama is, and then Baba. But I'm not. It repositions me differently. In Brahma Baba's case, this is why he was able to let go of everything. Because he realized not just that everything he had was donkey ship compared to what he was going to be having, but because it's so fruitless to hang on to so much of the stuff, internal stuff, that belongs to the old world self, when you know that you're really not in charge. So ultimately, what having faith in the larger picture and faith in God brings us to is faith in our own self. It's a redefinition of what makes a person valuable. It's what makes the soul valuable. These qualities, these virtues, true, true human being. And with knowledge, I begin to have faith that, yeah, it's virtue and principles and qualities which bring me my value. But then also, I am filled with exactly those qualities and virtues. That is who I am. Which then brings us to the power of hum so, so hum. It's the conviction that I can do this. 
because this practically what all of this means is that as I go through the day in this confluence age I'm being given a chance at every moment to upgrade my character to come back to what I was and truly am and it's a simple thing I just need to keep an honest eye on the quality of a thought an attitude a word a behavior and wherever appropriate just remind myself wait a minute I can do better I can do better than this and then remember God (laughs) take power from him and change change yourself the experience is, is that each time we do that it's as if we're tapping into those very virtues and qualities which qualify me for this kind of aim and this is magic some of us would have already had this experience in fact I think many of us would have had this experience whereby I take stock of my day perhaps it's at night before I sleep and I see a weakness but I also envision what would be better what's the virtue or the quality that I would like to see myself performing with the next time I'm triggered and then we finish that kind of checking we finish that night with the intention of being careful watching myself so that in the next opportunity to practice that quality I'm ready I'm going to practice it and then what we find out is that the next stick happens I mean we're going through our next day and indeed there is someone who's in front of us triggering that very same um, weakness but it's only afterwards that we realize we performed beautifully we weren't triggered the virtue or the quality that we had aspired to the night before was actually present it had emerged without any particular effort attentiveness on my part this is an experience worth having (laughs) that the night before I simply sought through what was the weakness and what is the virtue that I want to replace it with and just with that thought it starts happening without any effort any particular attention on my part the next day it's activated and I sail through what otherwise would have been an encounter that would have defeated me have you had this experience because this is what it means to move forward at a fast speed you just have the thought and it happens it doesn't necessarily apply uh, to a gross externalized service arena many times we think oh this VIP should come into contact with us there's the thought and oh that's what should that's what then happens it's not necessarily on that um, level of things that this plays itself out it's more on that subtle level whereby I'm constantly checking myself against my vision of myself the aim that Baba has defined for me 
I'm going through the trouble of clarifying in my thoughts what is it that's needed. And then within 24 hours, (laughs) we actually can see how with just that kind of process, the quality, the virtue is activated, which is what it means to invoke the virtue. It means that it's been brought up. It's activated. So here's to a day of practicing magic. Keep the new world, the new me in front of me as I go through the day and actively require of myself to do better and best and just see how everything in the universe, including your own perfect self, begins to work together to make it all happen. Om Shanti.